with John Piper with the weekend video and it's Saturday the 11th, 11th of July. Um, starting with Bitcoin again. I mean, again, no real change what's been happening recently. We saw the uh, the low down at uh, 31, 80, sorry, 38, 15 approximately. Uh, we're seeing these five waves up, which we've discussed a fair bit. Uh, we've now got an A to there, a B to here, and I think this is a C in, in process, so let's just put this down to there. Um, 883 eight, remains my target. It may go below that, I've said before, um, but no real change to my uh, overall opinion on Bitcoin. I'm looking in the shorter term, just to cover the ground. Um, we saw this peak here, uh, where C equals A was spot on. That's from down here, I think. So A, B, C. Um, we then saw five waves down, which is uh, the first part of the C wave I've been talking about. A, B, C, that's quite a decent size. So, and, and then we could get a third wave in fact, at this point. It could be a third wave down. That would take out eight three, I think, quite, quite convincingly. Um, or just an A, B, C would, would probably maybe stick around eight three. So, but, but eight three is the key, key point right now. I mean, we've got another five waves down here. So you want to look at it go short. Uh, let me just expand this uh, chart to uh, show that a bit more clearly. Um, I mean, there's a, actually a superfluous wave there, but then it's a clear one, two, three, four, five. Um, so a corrective rally at this point might give us a good shorting opportunity, perhaps uh, ignoring this little blip here, which probably fit in somewhere at some point. Uh, so from maybe a thousand points down or something, we'll, we'll look at that um, uh, as we move forwards uh, on this particular uh, trading plan. All right, looking at Ethereum, no real change to the pattern. Um, we've got this potential five up to here, um, for ABC. I'm expecting five waves here, but we haven't seen that, and we're going sideways. Uh, so a slightly confused count. We've got a potential five down here at the end. Let me just go down to a shorter term, five day chart. And you can see the uh, one, two, three, four, five, followed by a pretty, pretty looking corrective move. A bit of a spike here, so we could see one more rally perhaps. But I think again, we're going to go down uh, as per Bitcoin. All right, so the final pattern I look about this wave one, wave two, which may not be over yet. Um, and then wave three perhaps coming in now, but I think it could be one more blip up first. So um, that's the Ethereum for the time being. Right, as far as gold, gold is concerned, we saw a good break above 1800, which is at uh, this level around here. Um, solid rally, but that's now failed. We're on A, B, C, A wave maybe, A, B, C, B. So I think another leg down could well come in, but again, I'm looking for a buying opportunity rather than a major sell off at this point. Um, to, you know, because we are on the third of a third uh, as it looks so I will remain positive of gold until I see some reason um, to change that view I'm just, just show it on the chart so A, B, C and I'll leave that in place obviously we can discuss it next uh, next time we have a recording I on Tuesday uh, looking at the DAX we've got the five waves down here discuss that we've got the ABC uh, also discussed that. Uh, I had thought we were going to see an impulsive decline. It did look pretty impulsive, but it's now become an ABC really, with a pretty strong bounce coming in. Um, same kind of parameters here as other other corrections. Uh, it could be we're going to see an A, a B, and a C. Um, let's have a look at this in the shorter term. Go down to the five-day chart on trading view. Just condense that slightly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all a bit messy. I mean, this does look pretty impulsive. That's the only thing that's uh, uh, fairly clear. But then B waves can be pretty impulsive. So we'll have to wait and see what uh, happens. But um, I mean, if it continues, I'm looking for buying opportunities, obviously. Um, but uh, that does, of course, depend how it goes. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's all I can really say on, on the DAX at the moment. Uh, first, we've got a similar position here, the five waves down um, as per the DAX. Um, ABC, but hasn't made new highs. This is a lot stronger. This is a lot weaker. I mean, a good spike of 6,000. Um, 
but certainly nothing like the same power as we're seeing on the DAX. Uh, but a, a pretty, con pretty confused pattern. Uh, having to see five down, you expect to see a continuation of that. I mean, uh, on FTSE that is looking quite likely, on, on the DAX less so at the moment. All right, finally the Dow. Um, again, the five waves down. Um, back in June, I'm thinking of June. Um, followed by what could be a triangle, A, B, C, perhaps a D, possibly an E. So this area here is to be watched carefully in case that proves to be serious resistance. Um, the Dutch could see something similar, I guess. It's interesting that the um, US and the UK have had some of the worst death, death rates on the virus, whereas um, Germany apparently has been doing really well, so I guess that might account for the uh, um, strength of the DAX compared to these other markets. But uh, at least we're getting some kind of pattern. I mean, the fact that this correction in terms of time is about five times as long as the actual fall uh, raises a few question marks too. Um, this, this is obviously fairly impulsive. Uh, this is less so clearly, more like an ABC. And this one looks good at the minute, at the minute but it may not... Uh, um, well, it may not pertain that. Um, the strength there, it you know, didn't get back down to the trend line, so that's something, I think. Um, that's all for today. If I'm interested, you saw back the report uh, on Tuesday for subscribers. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.